I'm here with Riley Sapinski of the Dust Collectors. Welcome, Riley. Thank you for having me. So, uh, did you play last night? Yes, I did. You did? That was a uh, that was a really good game. It ended in a tie. It did. Well, it went to OT. Went to OT. So we, that was the only game that we were able to do OT because we're on such a tight schedule that um, you guys were the last game of the night. Yeah. So you're able to go OT, and did you come out ahead or behind? Uh, we lost. You lost. Yeah. But we did a little uh, we did a little three on three in OT. That was fun. It was fun. Um, have you? Well, before we get into that, tell me about um, yourself. Where do you play? What, um, what team is it? I play for the Buffalo Junior Sabres 05 group. 05, so that this year is a 15, 15, 15 U. U, yep. And that means you played for uh, Coach Coletta? Yes, and yep. Brian Gianta. And, and Coach Gianta, right. So both Coach Coletta and Gianta are alumni of the Sabres, you know that. Yeah. And they both play in our event and they both um, have been active. So they're, they're really great guys. And yeah. uh, I won't speak to their coaching, but I know they're really great guys. And uh, are you familiar with Coach Coletta's uh, golf event that we, we did a golf event a couple weeks ago? Um, I heard about it, yes. Yeah, what'd you hear about it? Um, well, I didn't hear much about it, but I heard that there was like a golfing event with like a bunch of like alumni and yeah. other people. I think my dad went to it actually. Oh, cool. So, yeah. Cool. So it was Coach Pekka, Coach Coletta, Marty Baran, and Jay McKee. You know those guys? Yeah. Do you know anything about their golf game? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Well, of that group, everybody was predicting Coach Pekka to win because he's a very good golfer. Uh -huh. And at the end of the day, Coach Coletta pulled it out. Coach that actually, one? He actually won. Yeah. I was to congratulate um, him on that one. It was a group, yeah, it was a group of uh, top fundraisers that got got to uh, golf with the, the alumni. So, um, have you? How long have uh, How long have you played hockey? I've been playing hockey since I was four. Yep. And where are you from? Um, Buffalo, New York. Buffalo. Yeah. Like suburb, or right? Uh, Alden suburbs. Gotcha. Gotcha. Who did you play for before the Junior Sabres? I played for the Buffalo Regals. Oh, cool. For two years. Oh, cool. I grew up playing for the Buffalo Regals, um, and Junior Sabres didn't exist back then, and uh, that's also a fun organization. Yeah, play. they are good. Have you played in the community shift before? Um, yeah, once. You did last year? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what did you think of it? Was it like when you... Uh, what did you think of the whole whole experience? I thought it was really fun being on the ice for that amount of time, just having fun. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit different than, a little bit different than, uh, it's a little less structure, right? It's more, yeah. More, it's more, more shiny. It's more fun than you can just go out, have fun with your friends and. Yeah, you get do what music you want. cranking and uh, just play for a few hours. Yeah. Um, are you familiar with um, the colors that were? Do you know why we have different colors of, of jerseys? Well, I just assumed it was for different teams, but I'm not. Yep. So we're, it's part of the, you know, this, this event is it's hockey, obviously, but yeah. it's about cancer awareness. So every day we feature different cancer cancers and you happen to yeah. be wearing white blue, which blue. represents um, prostate cancer. Um, red, uh, burgundy represents another different form of cancer. So every day as part of what we do, it's also yeah. recognition of certain cancers and making people aware. Yeah. Um, have you... Do you have any particular uh, person or persons that you're playing for in honor of um, that, have been, that have been affected by cancer in any way? My dad's friend, his name's Mike Sabalski, he had testicular cancer and he uh, he actually, he beat it. Good. So Good. he's doing better now. Right. So we raise money for places like Roswell and cancer research for, so people like your dad's friend can survive, you know, the, the chances of survival are gr greatly increased. Yeah. So we really appreciate you raising money. We really appreciate you being here and hope you have fun. Thanks for having me. Man. All right. Thank you. Thank you.